My name is Monica, and here I am back at Dr. Lee's office. I was at Dr. Lee's office a couple months ago, and she tried to remove my birthmarks off of my face. I've always had this birthmark my whole life. The medical term for it is neva sebaceous. It was started really small. Probably it was about the size of my index finger. I was bullied as a kid. You know, people telling me I looked like I had a pepperoni pizza face. Once I've reached puberty, it got worse. I've had plastic surgery, dermabrasion surgery, laser surgery, but it's always come back. I gave up. Just live with it. And so that's basically what I've been doing. I think that it would be nice to try to shave some of this down and as much as you tolerate. So I'm going to use an electrosurgery tool. It'll cut it off, but it'll also cauterize it. I have not had that done Yeah, before. so hey, let's try something yeah. new. Yay! I would try to deal with the pain and put up with the pain, but it was just too much. Yeah, I just, like, I feel like I'm done. Like, I've been through enough pain right now. You have been. I know. It does look better than it did, but I know it's never going to be perfect for you. I was really pissed about how much I should have had done and I didn't have done because I wasn't strong enough to tolerate the pain. So recently, I called Dr. Lee and asked her if she was willing to do more, and she said she would consider it. Hello. It's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah. Thanks for coming back all the way over here, huh? Uh, right. I'm going to take my mask off. As you know, we can do that here. I am really super nervous. Well, don't be nervous. Look, hey, it's just so nice to see you. <sighs> Let's talk first. Let's talk first, OK? Remember, we're, not, we're just talking right now. And we'll figure something out here, OK? I saw Monica a couple months ago, and she's so wonderful. But she has a pretty big, pretty substantial nevus on her face. And even though I put plenty of numbing solution in this area, she feared the potential pain so much that I really couldn't proceed. What's going on? The pain, it's just, it was last time it, it hurt so bad. It, I was upset that I didn't have a whole lot done. We got a good amount done that day. We did do something <laughs> significant. I, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't didn't feel that I did because it started coming back. Like, is there a specific place you want to point that out yeah, to me? Yeah, this. Because it hurt so much, you couldn't cauterize it as far down as probably what you wanted it to. Mm -hmm. That part right there. And it ended up hurt here. OK. It's just, I'm just really nervous because I know how bad it hurt last time. And everybody was telling me that it really wasn't that bad. And, you know, you should have stuck it out. You should have did more. And, oh, no, don't. Like, don't think that. I feel like I failed you, too, because no, I, I didn't. No, not I, at all. I didn't have a lot done to even show any purpose for you to no, show other that's, people. No, that, that is not true. I just don't see it in the mirror. Right. OK, well, let me take a look. This area right here moves really pretty well. What if we were at least able to, like, numb this well and excise this area? I don't know what that means. That means cut it out and put <laughs> stitches there. OK. It is more extreme for me to excise a large area. I don't usually like to go to that, you know, first thing. But she's had similar things done before, and she really felt that they didn't work. So let's do something more significant with her now. It will make this area a little tighter, but it's like a long way around a facelift. I think that the things we need to do is to give you as much control as you can. So let's try to do all the things that we can, like give you some numbing cream ASAP. Yep. So let me get my girl to get you started, because I want to leave that numbing cream as on as long as we can here, OK? So you get nice and numb there. We'll slather it on there. Oh, yeah. OK? Sounds All right, good. I'll show, I'll show them, too. OK, so hold on. I'll be okay. back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still really nervous about everything that's going on. I'm really anxious about the pain. But I'm really happy that Dr. Lee gave in, and she listened to me and, uh, after I begged her and cried um, that she put some numbing cream on me. Let's see. Slather it on her. I am. I, I remember this not being done the last time. But we yeah. got a lot of tricks we can try, that, so. Yeah. Now we know what to do with you. We'll see. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see. I hate pain, any kind of pain. But I'm hoping this numbing stuff that really helped. OK, so I'm going to put just a little more numbing there. You OK? Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna have to administer some numbing medication into the skin. And I'm also gonna talk to her the whole time because I think she really psyched herself out the first time and this has to work today. I mean, I can't just start removing a big chunk of skin essentially and she just tells me to stop. There's no way that can happen. Okay, let's see if this works this time. Again, you shouldn't feel anything other than my just kind of touching you, okay? Okay, you just make sure nothing ever hurts, okay? I'm using a different method for removal of this growth and also pain management. I'm doing awesome. Let me know if anything hurts. All right. Right now, I'm not feeling any pain whatsoever. I'm like, I can't even feel my whole face. Okay, I'm gonna put some stitches right there. The tough part is over and I couldn't be happier. I removed a pretty large growth on Monica's cheek and no pain from her. She handled this like a champ. I can take off that little bump right there. Okay. And also the one along your lip here, okay? Let me just okay. put a little numbing there, okay? Keep those eyes closed. I'm just gonna reach up here and take a little bit from around this lip here. You okay? You ready to see what we did? And hopefully you tell me what you think about what we did and here you go. It's still shaking. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. So look at it, it looks, straight on. Like, you know how you kind looks, of feel like you have, like, sticking out? It looks That's going to be a little line, smoother. right, instead? Yeah. What about? What's, I can't take off the oh, whole thing okay. because that would be too much stretch, right? OK. See, you're always like, what about this? No, it's just, I'm I wondering. Understand. Like, yeah, I know. It's a real confidence booster in me. Looking at myself in the mirror this time, Damn, she really smoothed it out and took a huge chunk out of my face. Maybe she's on to something. Maybe my face will get better. So, there's hope. I think this looks really a lot better. I'm yeah. very happy with this. It does. So I'm glad you came back. Yeah. And I, I think we're in a good direction now. Yeah, okay? me too. It was really nice to see you again. Yeah, good seeing nice you too. Day Thank out of you. Trouble. Of course, of course. I'm very proud of myself for doing this. You know, I talked Dr. Lee into um, using the numbing cream on me, so then I was able to do a lot more. I was crying and nervous before I came into this, but I finally grew some counties and did it. Last time I left, very disappointed. This time I am leaving more hopeful because I see a difference when I look in the mirror.